I don't know about you, but I know a lot of people that have a history of rolling their ankles and they're out of commission for several days or weeks. Whether you're on a soccer pitch or a basketball court or you're simply walking your dog and you step off the curb wrong, this video is for you. So we call a sprained ankle often an inversion sprain where the foot is rolling outward and weight is applied and you land on it and then bad things are known to happen. So here's what we can do about improving your likelihood of that not happening again. Can we give you some an insurance policy perhaps? Chances are People that have inversion sprains more often than not don't want to go in the same area. So they have a tendency to move the weight of their body inward over their feet and not want to travel to the outside edge of their foot where the last time they did bad things happened. So I'm going to take a couple of foam wedges here and they're going to help give me a new position for this foot because if I'm rolled inward preventing myself from getting out there I've got a lot of space in different areas of my foot. Now these positions that I'm about to put the wedges in my feet may have to be different than where your wedges need to be placed because you have to find out where it is that you don't have contact in your foot when you're standing. And then what we can do is use these wedges to fill in the space to give your foot a new experience. So standing where you are with bare feet, see if you can home in on where the pressure is. And so what I feel is I don't have as much pressure on the outside of my heel nor on the inside here. And all I'm going to do now is have that foot forward and I'm going to feel what it's like to bring weight onto that foot. Can I get contact in a kind of like a tripod position where I have pressure under the pad of my big toe, my little toe, and my heel? And with the help of those wedges, I'm able to make contact there. Now let's say that you couldn't feel pressure on the pinky pad. And maybe that's the only place that you didn't have pressure. Well, then you just need one wedge and you put that underneath that space, fill it up and then start loading into it. So you change the timing pattern of how your foot behaves on top or below the ankle. Now, aside from that, what I really want to do is get a better understanding of how my foot gets flat and then creates an arch. And as I do this motion here, I'm rotating my body left and right. When I go toward the big toe, my knee bends. And when I go away, my leg straightens. And as I do this, you might get a sense that, oh, He's, me he's lifting off the floor here. So this is where we once again might need a little wedge to give me some contact there so that now my foot can behave a little bit better and the ankle understands its role. And at the same time, I'm bearing weight into that leg that I have been troubled by, teaching it how to properly shift my weight from side to side. So give those couple things a try and see if we can't prevent another sprained ankle.